I'm uh, getting ready to change out my um, idle air control valves. Uh, if you'll, there's two of these idle air control valves on one on each throttle body. See them right here, right here. Get the new, <clears throat> new idle air control valves with the gaskets. And then what you want to do is just uh, unplug the pigtail on each idle air control valve. And what I did is I went ahead and loosened these up so they're finger tight. It takes a one and a quarter inch box wrench or you can you can sometimes get a one and a quarter inch deep well socket on here. But I went ahead and loosened them up so I could just take them out. I had already cleaned them up so they're fairly clean. The problem is I wasn't satisfied with the performance so I I just went ahead and purchased some new ones. It's kind of difficult to get down there. You don't want to you don't want to damage anything. Yeah, like I said, these are already finger tight, one and a quarter inch. Gaskets, gaskets come off with them. Again, here are the new ones. I'm gonna, I'd already cleaned up the uh, uh, the IAC uh, bodies some, but I'm going to go ahead and clean them up a little more with some throttle body intake cleaner, a little wire brush. Just kind of get down in there a little bit, clean it out before I put the new ones in. Again, I had already done this once, so I'm just going to do it again for good luck. We've got the uh, new idle air control valves all secured in there, plugged back in with their harnesses. Give that carburetor cleaner some time to dry up and then crank it up and see how things go.